Yeah, we out here chilling with all Bay Mueller Street Certified TV. Shout out Philly Rich. Let's get it. All Bay Music Magazine, Street Certified, Episode 3. Let them know who you guys are. C the AKA Big Time Rank, BL Family. Family. Smitty. BL the Family. Big Life Third. You know what I should go through Jesus, AKA Big Life 59, BL Family. Hey, Dad, short cash, BL the Family. Jackie Joe, no handout. Okay. What what inspired you guys' stage names? Shit, me. My first stage name was like Seal, Sita, and all that shit. Sita the Ad, all that shit. So I just started playing with the name and shit. And you know, I just came up with just Sita. At first it was Young Sita, then I just came up with just Sita. You feel me? Because they ain't gonna be young forever. So, I mean, I ain't really got a stage name. Shit. That's just my name for real. So, you know, we just stick. Shit, my shit is more like it's it's two meanings for bag life. So you got life. Life is more so it's a deeper meaning behind that. It. It's it's more so what you go through like the day to day and then bag is just now, like the flashy shit, you know what I'm saying, getting to some money. Like as you can tell, I'm mean, dirty right now because I was just getting to some money when we woke up and popped out. So, shit, that's bad guy. Me is just kind of like the name that caught on as <clears throat> as I started doing the music, you know what I'm saying? But motherfuckers start calling me that as, it, as I, you know, it was me at first and then just me though, you know what I'm saying? I just came like that. Me, me it was just kind of a name. Uh, it was given to me by my uncle for real as a kid. He used to always call me Visa. And, you know, I'm from 5900 Seminary, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm a live nigga, that's where the live come from. It's never a dull moment when you're with me. I keep it lit, so kind of put them all together. He's a live 59 and that's how the name came. Shit, Dash came from uh, my big cousin named me that. Jumping in whips, always trying to do the dashboard. You know, driving hella fast. You know, it's never a dull sense. Ooh, how they do call me that? <laughs> <laughs> They just, I don't know, they just started calling me Jack one day, and then shit. I was in the pen, and then this one nigga, he from Richmond, he just always called me Johnny Joker. Like, uh, what's the nigga on Coming to America, King of Zamunda? Johnny Joker. Shit, he just was calling me that every day, so shit. Really just came on and made it my Instagram handle. I wouldn't even say it's a stage name, but it's more of an Instagram handle, but everybody know me, called me Jack, or, you know. Really, that's it. Ain't too much to it. Yeah. What got you guys into the creative mode of like wanting to make music? Really, my nigga, my nigga Keith. No, I ain't even say that, but he was an influence. But I get to that. But actually, my brother, you know, he used to rap with like three times crazy and shit. Like, I used to be around that shit, seeing that shit. So, it used to be like, I ain't know them niggas was gonna blow like that. So, I was always around just the Oakland genre of music since a little nigga. So, I always had the, the, the real, I feel like that was when the music in Oakland was as pure as, like, when niggas like that was out three times mm -hmm. crazy. You feel me? Whole bunch of motherfuckers. If I'm forgetting anybody, they can't throw any ideas out there. Bad influence, the you know what I mean? That real town flavor, that real show. Or just where we really come from, you know what I mean? Shit that we lost along the way, but man, you know, we try to bring that shit back. And that's what, like, little mob shit did, basically. So I just started rapping with my niggas, like, in the hood, we was doing shit, grinding, everything, you feel me? My nigga Keese, he first started rapping. Dead, and rest in peace, Keys. Rest Keys. You feel me? He kicked it off on some PK shit. It was Project Kids. It was me, my nigga Keys. My nigga, nigga Heen, rest in peace. My nigga Mikey, you feel me? And we started from there, 35th and Allenville. And we kicked it off like that. Shit, 
shit. For me, I'm more of a support, man. I ain't no motherfucking rapper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm with whatever team with, man, you know. I'm going back whatever, you feel me? So, you know, and I got a vision, like I said. And uh, I know a lot of people, you know what I mean? And I've been having a, a movement by myself for the longest, you know? So it just automatically comes with the music. What was the question again? The question is, um, what, what, what inspired you to start, you know, getting into the music industry? Okay. Uh. My nigga Heem, like rest in peace, like bro said, he put me, he put me in the mood to rap. He like, man, you got a story, like you got a sick story. Like coming up in, from where I'm from, like I, my whole family is from where I'm from, you feel me? And you know, like, you know, other route. But he put a nigga on to put the pain into the music. Like some of my better music is from the beginning because I could talk about more shit. That's the life part that I'm talking about. Like, you feel me? But that's who put me on and inspired a nigga to make music. Me, like, kind of piggybacking off what Cubs was saying, like the original culture of, of town music, you know what I'm saying? The original rappers, like, rapping around the link race, you know what I'm saying? Uh, even show, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it was original mob music, you know what I'm saying? But then, when I just came back to it a few years ago, it was like the 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 music that was out was kind of like it wasn't relatable to to me. Like you know what I'm saying? It really represent where we came from or what we know to be Oakland. Yeah, and I, in our culture, so. I felt like you know myself and the family like we you know we we got stories to tell and we and we can breathe that shit a different way. Like you know what I'm saying? So. That's what kind of motivated me to continue on now. Me, uh, like my brother said, it's just like, you know, Kick, shout out Kick, Sneak, that was my god brother, you know what I'm saying, coming up three times crazy today. So, you know what I mean, they kind of all, that was like my biggest inspiration as a kid. I used to always sit in there, my first freestyle, or I say rap, I wrote to uh, Mystical, the man right here, I used to record and shit on the little boom box and shit, so. It was like it was always a thing in me, but it was a passion of mine. But you know, uh, circumstances and you know, being where we're from and having to do what we gotta do to make it happen kept me away from it. You know what I mean? So, uh, like I said, it was something that was always in me, and uh, that's pretty much what it was. And my cousin said, you know, me coming home and seeing where the music went today and how we lost our culture and just you know, basically the fuckery. You know what I'm saying? And the shit that don't represent really what we represent. So. It's like, you know what I mean, that really my drive to want to, you know what I mean, bring this shit back to the original standpoint of what it really is, you know, we on some mob shit, you know what I mean, niggas be macking the mob and all that other goofy shit, that ain't really that, you know what I'm saying, so I want to kind of give people a better look of what we really stand for, you know what I mean, because Oakland always been the focal point and motherfuckers always took from us and mm -hmm. tried to make a way, now it's like, now it's like, yeah, trendsetters, now it's like we trying to chase other motherfuckers thing and they ain't really gonna be about, so. No, that's my drive and my passion and shit. Yeah, that's what we all. For me, what really did it for me was like uh, that yet double disc album, the red and blue one. Like the Avalanche. That, the Avalanche, that's what inspired me. You know, I just do music in general. You know what I mean? They ain't been doing it throughout the years, but like now it's different. It's like um, I feel like it's a void in the city. That needs to be filled. Shout out to everybody in the city that's making the city look good. By the way, <sighs> shout out Filthy man. Shout, shout out my out. nigga Filthy Rich man. He really the one kind of putting this shit together and leading us in the right direction and showing us what we need to do. You know, to make the city look good. A lot of niggas be hating on that nigga. Yeah, he don't get it fucked up, man. Real niggas fuck with him. That's Oakland right there. Filthy Rich. When you think about Oakland, yeah, you think about that nigga make the city look good. Real representative of what Oakland really about. You feel me? So shout out to the niggas that's making the city look good, but you know, this uh. Shit up in the city like for, for like for the mob music and just like you know what I mean? The 
the sound of the city and how motherfuckers look at the city. Niggas trying to restore the feeling with that. Mm-hmm. Basically, like they all said, the inspiration, the main artist, three times crazy. Uh, Delinquents, shit, I remember the first time I ever called myself rapping. I was uh, playing Drew Down, Bay Bubba Burn Rubber, mm-hmm. <laughs> back and forth, writing it down, trying, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Probably like seven, eight years old, but really the inspiration. Like, I got a lot of South roots, like, I grew up on shit, P and them, no mm-hmm. limit, cash money, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, um, uh, Lil Troy and them, you know what I'm saying? Pimp C and them, that's who I really grew up listening to. But like they said, like it's a lot of motherfuckers in the city who is making it look good, who do got talent. We just get overlooked because of, you know, like they said, the hyphy movement. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that's not a part of our culture. I think it really came and throw to me shots at the hyphy movement. I mean, because it's a part of where we come from sure, at yeah. this point, you know what I'm saying? And, and but, it, it was a movement that carried on and had a lot of motherfuckers follow. But s- sometime in between there, as that was going on, motherfuckers lost our identity and motherfuckers started looking at us a certain way, like on some hyphy, hyphy shit. Things, you know what like, I'm we, like we right. goofy, then yeah, we go out of town. They shit. immediately try to hit you with the hyphy this. Yeah, the hyphy shit. That, that was the time and place for that. Right. Right. Even yeah. though that was going yeah. on, it was a lot of real yeah. shit going on. It was a lot of real shit going on. on behind niggas, niggas hustle out here. Yeah. Niggas get yeah. money like anywhere else. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Niggas hustlers. Niggas do everything. This so, you know. Do, do you guys do you guys feel like even the term hyphy was taken out of context? Oh my god! They based it. They based it. The term, the terminology of it. Yeah. I think it got it got. Well, I think I think for yeah, in the beginning, it. hyphy was like another term for saying mob yeah, in a way. Mob like like we mobbing, we getting hyphy out here, yeah, like yeah, side yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 But you know, my came with the funniest. The stunner glasses. That was the pills. Niggas was trying to try no hyphy nigga. Niggas was You know what I'm saying? You was a a hyphy yeah. nigga. Hyphy was a word that you know, nigga was a, was one of the niggas. You activated, you turned up. Hyphy was like, 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 like something. Like if you if you if you like if you don't know like hyphy like man, it's something wrong with that nigga. That's like that was that nigga. Like that nigga off. Like you know what I'm saying? Just really another word for crazy. And the same thing. I just I just think they took it and ran with it like a lot of people. It's crazy because when you see certain shit, like no disrespect to Vallejo and Mac Dre and all that shit, but they feel like Mac Dre started, nah, nah, that shit came about the town, you know what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers, motherfuckers young, junior high school, even elementary motherfuckers go to house parties, you know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers dance, it was like a way of life, a culture, you feel what I'm saying? For motherfuckers to release energy and do something different, you feel me? The mobbing still was a part of it, but even the gangsters, did they thing, you feel what I'm saying? So, sure. you know what I mean? But I just like feel like- urban mosh pit type shit. Oakland oh, always had his like own that. culture, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Now we kind of lost, right. you know what I'm saying? You got all this shit, everybody following this Detroit shit, this Chicago yeah. shit, don't get me wrong, that's a movement, but mm-hmm. town always been a town, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we yeah. always had our own yeah. style, our own movement. So let's talk, let's talk deeper into that. So like, I remember for a long time in Oakland there were really wasn't a lot of gangs per se mm. like what 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 do you guys think about the new format going on like with this new generation i mean i feel like it always mm. been gangs it just it just i don't know like uh, like he said like i would this, like say it was gangs it was it was more so black culture like, we had we had black culture you know what i'm saying like i, I tell yeah. everybody now like you know I mean, like we come from, from somewhere. We come from the street, from, from hustling, from motherfuckers. You see motherfuckers pull up candy whips, gold things, side show motherfuckers pull up, show their shit off. You know what I'm saying? That was really where we come from. Now it's like the land of the takers. These young niggas ain't got a lick of hustling in them. All they want to do is take. That's where you know the term saying? grind so came from because we grind Fucked the off our whole culture. You feel All what I'm saying? Like you know what side what shows now is about a motherfucker way. going out in raggedy cars, yeah. tearing shit up, shooting. Like that wasn't where we came from. A side show, the said, side show was way we cut cleaner. Cut the high side, show out, nigga. We let them know what the way. turf worth. Like, nigga, we get money over here. This is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So nigga, side it was more show so. Way cleaner. Instead of saying, then. instead of saying, we always been gangs. It's, it's 
it's been blocks. We had blocks, and it was always like you know we separated ourselves. So that might have made it look like we was a gang, but on some other shit, the town was everybody was together because we can go to any side of this motherfucker and pull up. Oh, we in we to the west, we to the north, we to the east. You know what I'm saying the motherfucker was basically like we showing y'all what the turf work. We competing on some on some higher shit, like on some money shit. You feel me? Separated us from you know they were kind of gave us our individuality was that we wasn't. Yep. We did, you know, we didn't have GDs, Vice Lords, or Black Kings, Crips, 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 We didn't have that. We had, you was from Seminary, you was from the 30s, you was from Greenside, you was from Acorn, you know what I'm saying? You was from a block, you was from a hood, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, now, like what you say with the games, for me, like, you know, a lot of us, you know, got stressed out, you know what I'm saying, on, on some prison terms or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You come home, it's you crazy, see this. It's crazy, this nigga just yeah. a few prison terms, not yeah. nothing glorified, but something like every time I came home, it was some different yeah, shit going on, stirring yeah. further and further well, away. It's evolution from what though. We really it's, you know it's, it's, it's evolution though. Even though it's 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 mm-hmm. unfamiliar to yeah, us, it's still it's evolution though. Like right? the sure. gang shit, it's it's it's, it's, now, it's open, like, but it ain't though. So well, yeah, even if that, don't, if that makes sense, because it, because it culture got to keep evolving. Do you think? Do you think drill music had anything to do with it? Yes, oh, for sure. A big part. For sure. I mean, that's all. That's all they really. That's all the young niggas really care about mm-hmm. now. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I, be, all I believe really Chicago care about. is a major influence on what's going on in our city today. The city around the world, for real. Yeah, around the world. Period. You know what I'm saying? The dudes came with a movement and they pushed that shit and they made motherfuckers believe like a cult. They made motherfuckers like had, had on, turned out a and, lot of followers. And the cool part about that, like them niggas, they they didn't like each other, but they ain't hate like how motherfuckers hate out here. Like a motherfucker from Chicago make it, like the whole city gon' even though the apps or whatever, the whole city still gonna fuck with them. They still gonna support us some type of way. Even some hating shit or some support shit, they still gonna get that nigga whoever they that's on. Exposure, yeah. and that's gonna Any create exposure. Whether you're yeah. talking bad about a motherfucker or whatever, he, you gonna let it be known that he that nigga we focusing on. These niggas out here, they just hate. It's just hater shit. Like, it's just straight hater shit. Let's talk about the music. So, tell me, what's the name of the label? Bill Black Life Familiar. Okay. What 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 inspired the name of the label? Um, actually, um, what inspired is like. I said earlier, my nigga Hume, we had this shit called the Pressure Game. So, you know, he had a, a hit single called Raised by the Grimies with uh, Filthy and Mozzie. Like, that was like the last feature them niggas was on with each other. That was the last feature, you feel me? So, that shit happened, and um, a bunch of shit happened with that. And some timely demise had came past like six months after um, basically BL I kind of dedicate that to pressure but that's just how I feel as far as the name it's the family you feel me the first was pressure now it's BL so BL Black Lives Matter the family and, you know we move like a black mafia Take care of each other no matter what. No matter what, we're gonna take care of each other. As long as you don't go bad, you don't go sour, you don't falter within this shit, niggas don't never have to worry about nothing. So, one for all, basically, what we're saying, like, it's a family movement, you know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't no, oh, we partners, oh, we come from this. Like, nah, if you, you step in this shit, it's family. Everybody mama know, everybody mama. Exactly. You know what I mean? We eat That's together, exactly. we sleep together, we go through everything. Together, they know, and that's they know how they everybody came up. You know that's how saying? everybody came up. Everybody, and everybody, mama, daddy know each yeah. other. You deeply rooted. Everybody, everybody knows their position. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. motherfucker, know the strengths, the weaknesses, and who can play what part. So you know what I mean. Everybody support each other, come together as you know I mean to make it a whole. Everybody playing their part, and that's what we all like. Really we teaching together on top of that, motherfucker, like teaching, like we teaching the the, the youth up under us. We ain't. Yeah, Making them about family. Family. trying to get these niggas Glocks to go get on like, like but when you wanna get some money, like you got a choice out here. You can either get some money or you can be with this that's gonna jeopardize your life and it's gonna affect the motherfuckers that love you. 
It ain't gonna affect nobody else but the motherfuckers. Trying to really get motherfuckers that, that ain't had it, a yeah. family setting to see what it really feel like. Cause that's what these that motherfuckers are missing. Like. They missing a lot of guidance. Like, they ain't got big homies that's on the block no more to tell them right from wrong no more. Like, that's shit when I came up, me, I got an older brother that was already deep in this shit, you feel me? And his friends, I was around, and all on top of that, then my uncles and shit part of So it was always structured, like when I came up. Even when I went to the hood and started doing whatever I was doing, it was older niggas that was still had love for me to tell me, like, don't do this, young partner. You don't want to do that. They, they warned you. They warned you. They always warned you. So it was up to you to take that warning. It was up to you to make your own decisions. But, you know, decisions you make, you got to answer for them. And a lot of motherfuckers don't like to answer for them. So, like, that's why we get these niggas. Well, these young niggas just a, a thought in their head like this shit ain't the only way and like, we ain't mad at you go get a job man. you want like you feel me feed yourself you feel me right. you really, hustle really, you gonna really hustle hustle smart like you know to like, really sum it all in a nutshell like we moving on what's right on principle you feel me we standing yeah. on what's right at all times even if any one of us is out of pocket you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. We're going to step to them up and let them know, like, nigga, you foul. You ain't moving right, nigga. We're going to get this shit right. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what that's that's basically what it is. But you, you always got to protect yourself at the yeah. same time. I ain't saying don't protect yourself. Yeah, always nah, got to protect you yourself because niggas out here going to kill you. They'll kill you. Security is first. That's why I murder right here like a motherfucker right now because niggas don't give a fuck about nothing. Yeah. Don't give a fuck about nothing. So, like, that's basically what we all on, man. The family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we also, going on, we move, we moving like the Panthers, like the mod, and we, you know what I'm saying? We, gotcha. that's, how we, that's how we come. So let's talk about new music releases. You, you got anything that's recently dropped? Yeah, I just dropped a visual called uh, Rich Homie. That's my latest visual. I got plenty of visuals. I got visuals with my, my niggas right here called Music to My Ears. You know what I mean? Big Vito, A Dash. Got uh, another visual called Kobe, me, Big Vito. And another visual with uh, me and my boy right here. Oh, yeah, plain Bad, Jane. Plain Jane. And bro, we got. Jimmy, the compromise. Compromise. Man. Check that shit out. Check that shit out. All that yeah, shit on you YouTube, all, shit all over the streaming. You know what I'm saying? Y'all running views up. Check this out. Yeah. And, you know, my project, my mixtape, Daytime, that's out on all digital outlets. You know, I got plenty more shit coming on the way. It's just, at this point in time, we just working. Like, it's just work at this point. We feel like we uh we lacking. So, we ain't got to pick it up, you feel me? And really just attack this shit. Because we know what we work. We know what this shit work. Like, this is really gold. Niggas really sitting on gold, you feel me? And you just got to, you know, make everybody else see this shit. So that's the place we just at least. And we're gonna come out. We're gonna come out the beginning of the year strong, though. Got a uh, got an EP with my boy Jackie Joe coming out. Uh, we damn near done. We got a few visuals to it already. Uh, we just put it together. We're gonna drop that before the year out. Um, I'm gonna try to drop my solo out before the end of the year. Um, I got a couple visuals out. Well, I got a visual, two visuals out actually right now. A solo called A. Um, you can go find that. It's on YouTube. Um, got no compromise with Lil Bro. Um, I got the A single out. A few other things. I just, I've been working. I got a few other visuals and shit that I ain't even dropped. A few songs. Like I said, for the end of the year, I'm going to try to drop my solo album and uh, give y'all a few visuals for next year. We just started off fresh with a bang. Uh, we just got finished building our own studio from scratch. Staying in our shit. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, basically, we're going to be in there working. We got all in house everything, production. Um, Engineer, you know, cameraman, uh, you know what I mean? I'm gonna give y'all a few vlogs, a lot of visuals. You got my little brother Arco, you know what I'm saying? Free the Thug, you know what I'm saying? He kind of put, we pushing his shit too. Another part of the family, uh, you know, unfortunate situations, can't be here right now. But you know, his voice still hurt, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna make sure he hurt, we still gonna push for him. Um, you know what I mean? He got a project gonna drop off Voice Behind the Wall, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, we just we, we basically just working, just just strategizing right now, seeing how we gonna what angle we gonna come from. 
We I go I go most definitely yeah. here for the family, man. We yeah, travel we travel hard. Yeah, I got um shit. I got visual I just my last visual I just dropped with uh myself and the homie Bonnie Don and Ace Rico for uh, FTF, you know what I'm saying? Before that me and Bonnie Don we just dropped uh Baghdad Bullies, you know what I'm saying? You can look me up on YouTube. I got like a few visuals out. Me and Cuz got uh, Kobe, me and him, and Dash, we got me to my kids. I just dropped a uh, project, Trenches Advised, you know what I'm saying? I got some uh, compilations out with all of us here on it, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Uh, Welcome to Baghdad, uh, Certification Volume 1 and Volume 2, you know what I'm saying? With all them various artists on there from from the BL movement, you know what I'm saying? So y'all go check it out, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got some shit. We got a lot of shit, y'all just go type it in on all digits, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got shit, I, I mostly, I, I think I probably only got like three visuals out. I got Brandy out, you could just uh, oh. type Bag Life 30 in on oh. YouTube. I got Brandy, I got Joke Itch. Uh, what else, what's, what we got? Certification. The video was the one we shot in Vegas. That's oh, uh, probably only got three visuals, but I got shit in the book. I'm gonna drop. I just gotta get in the studio. I gotta get in the right studio because studios have it hard to find. Well, not studios, engineers. Engineers is terrible right now. We beats. need beats. We need beats. We need better. We got engineers. It goes engineer studio. I need a good studio. That, they, they made that the that's the part. We just, we need, I need a nigga that don't leave the studio. studio. <laughs> Work. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, work. Man, we got we, we got we got an engineer though. We got oh engineer. yeah, we can't we got, do we, we can't do the engineer. Let me not say that. We really no, we no, bullshit. No, I wouldn't even say bullshit. Yeah, we, no, we but we. just you know, I mean, situations and circumstances made us to where we got to be comfortable to do what we do. So all producers we have to tap build in. our own shit to where that's so, it. We got engineer. You know engineer. Shout out my nigga Los. Shout out Los, man. Get to it. You feel me? To it. He ready to work. Definitely. He on me every day calling me big bro. What we yeah. doing? You know what I'm saying? So Lose we can't even dog. say that. Los ready, ready to go. That's disrespectful, man. He part of the family, man. And and Los giving Los credit for show for show when the, when everything put together. Los gonna be there. He gonna make sure it's gonna work. He gonna he gonna push us to work. We gonna all push each other too. So it be a whole vibe. Like I said, it's the family. You know what I'm saying? So the energy be there, and you can you can tell it come through it in the music. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Where can people find you guys online? Instagram, big top rank, B I G underscore top rank three. Yeah. Come on, Lincoln Instagram. Bio. CEO Smitty. CEO dot Smitty, all lowercase letters. Sure. Uh, I G at B A G L I F three R D underscore. Uh, YouTube is type in the same thing. Instagram, bad game, dictated the tyrant, all underscore if you let us then on YouTube with Big V Dog. And on uh Apple Music and uh Spotify everything with Big V Dog V E D O. Instagram, uh Visa Live underscore Visa underscore live five nine hundred. Um Twitter, all that other shit on just Visa. Um find me on YouTube, Visa, Apple Music got a few songs on there. Uh, under Visa, you know what I'm saying? You know, pretty much real life. IG, AYE, underscore, dash. That's where I'm on social media. I'm on Instagram, Jackie Joe, J O C K Y J O. That's all I've got for spring right now. So, any last words or shout outs? Shout out to the family. Shout out to the niggas that's locked up, man. Free all the motherfucking guys, you know what I mean? Long way of my niggas, Lil Henchy, Boo Banger, King Boo, Keys, all them niggas, man. 2700 Block, you know what I mean? Lil 35th Allen Deal, Representer, all that other shit I don't know nothing about. It ain't come from my mouth, it ain't stamped, you know what I mean? Be your family, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out that nigga, Filthy Rich. Shout out, Rip the homie, like he say, you know what I'm saying? Free the real, you know what I'm saying? All the homies we first mentioned, man. And I want to shout out, man. Maybach the boss lady. She was really one of the, the 
first people that even give me the start fucking back with this shit. Shout, shout out, big sis. Shout out, big sis. You know what I'm saying? Big sis. Shout out, 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 Shout out, Shout out, Shout Man, I love bro Milk. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he give motherfuckers a drive and the energy and, and the vision to see that they can do this shit. And he come from the same way where we come from. You feel me? I want to say shout out to my little brother, Arco. Shout out to my little brother, Big Head, B.O. Free Lines. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Hello. Free free my pops. Big head. You know what I'm saying? We, we keeping this shit lit, man. You know what I mean? I'm going to do it the way it's supposed to be done. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. This BL yeah. shit is a family, man. We coming. For sure. sure. Believe that. Trust and believe that. Man, you know, uh, you know, like they say, rip all the thugs, man. Free the guys. Like, free the real, keep the fake, man. We standing on principle. We moving like the mob around this motherfucker. All for one, one for all. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how we coming, man. Keep your eyes open. Be on the family, man. We about to bust this shit open. Yeah, shout out the young one, shout out Bowie, shout out, oh, you know. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, shout, shout, out, out, shout out, out to all the young niggas, man. Free Vinny, uh, free, free the hoe, free, freezing RIPs, man. That's all Shout out my nigga Filthy, man, bro. Why you for putting this shit together, man? Keeping it 100 like you do, you know what I'm saying? Keep your foot on this nigga's neck, you know what I'm saying? Don't give him no breathing room, nigga. No, we bagging you 100% for anybody that didn't know, man, you know, nigga. Hey, man, because he's too consistent and he on top. You hear me? Yeah.